software um, that works with all the uh, Booking.com, Expedia. She said Agoda. Is it Agoda? As well. Uh, who it's a bit different. So what we do is uh, pricing for hotels. So we help hotels find the right price so they optimize uh, revenue, maximize profit. And for this, we actually work with either the PMS or the channel manager. So we connect to the PMS or the channel manager, analyze a lot of data, and then we tell the PMS, okay, this is the price you should charge. And then the PMS sends it to all the channels or the channel manager sends it to all the channels. So how big are you in Europe? Um, globally, we have around two and a half thousand customers. Um, we're adding around 100 to 150 customers a month. Okay. 70% um, uh, of our business is in Europe, and then 15 is in uh, Australia and New Zealand, 15 is in North America. Um, Nothing in Southeast Asia. Asia. We're starting with that now, but slowly. So I don't have a team on the ground in Southeast Asia yet, but it's a market that we will eventually uh, go into. Okay, tell me about, you're the co-founder. Yeah. So are you a tech guy? What's your background? No, so... Um, my background is in finance. Oh. I worked for an investment company uh -huh. um, before I started Room Price Genie. And what we did at the investment company, we invested in um, German, it's called German Mittelstand. So it's like small, medium sized German companies, privately owned, oftentimes very innovative, uh, high margin, so super cool businesses. And we also invested in late stage scale ups. And it was just very impressive to see how passionate founders of those late stage uh, scale ups were about their business, how teams worked, how everyone was just excited to bring change. And um, I left the investment company saying, I want to do, I want, I want to do So, this. how did you find your founder is the tech guy? The founder is the tech guy. I, I went back to university to start the business and I met him in the first week. He was at a different university. And Ari's background, he's the, te he's the tech guy. Uh, he has a PhD in mathematics, uh, worked in finance trading for 15 years. So he was writing algorithms to trade currencies, uh, so high speed trading, and very successful with that. Had his own hedge fund. And then he realized, okay, I want to do something where I create value for others. His dad owned a bed and breakfast on the Isle of Wight, uh, that's the south, south of England. And he had this problem with pricing. So his prices were either too high or too low. So he's either not selling at all or selling too quickly. And Ari saw the problem and saw, okay, with my skills, I can I can fix this. I can yeah. build something. So what what year was this? Like how you? 2017. So 2017 is when we met. Uh, and then next to university for the next one and a half years, we started to do market research. So is there really a product needed? What products are out there? We spoke to first hotels. We very quickly saw, okay, there's, there might be something there. We built a product, which took us one and a half years. So beginning of 2019, we had our first customers. Uh, this guy over there, uh, Nick, um, he has a hotel in New Zealand. Actually yeah. was one of our first customers. Oh. Um, and uh, are you expensive? Like, okay, who are your competitors? Because 70% <clears throat> means you are basically holding the market share, right? That's quite a big... No, no, no. 70% of our revenue is from there. Oh, one they, seven or seven? Seven zero. Oh, seven. Okay, 70%. Okay. But what, in terms of market share, like how do, you, how do you stand? The revenue management space is very interesting because today, 95% of the hotels don't do anything when it comes to automated pricing. So it's this blue ocean market where more and more hotels are adopting technology, but right now no one has a relevant market share. Okay. So the biggest player is Ideas, they're over there, but they provide this software for large hotels and big brands. Not SiteMinder? Uh, no, no, SiteMinder doesn't work in that space. So SiteMinder doesn't do real revenue management. They don't do... So you do everyone from bed and breakfast to boutique yeah. hotels. If they have one hotel, you do that as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do oh. single hotels, smaller groups, say from 10 to 100 rooms, we have everything. We specialize in like 20 to 50 rooms. That's where most of our clients fall into. So your revenue is what? You uh, do them a monthly fee and you do you do exactly. revenue share? Yeah. Revenue no, share. not revenue share, monthly fee. So, so they pay per room per month. Oh. And uh, so like a Spotify subscription. Then. So like, any kind of like uh, feedback after using you and before using you, how yeah. much? So we actually ran this, uh, we ran our latest analysis the other day. And out of the clients that joined us in the last 520 days that have then been with us for around a year, um, the average uh, revenue increase is 19%, um, okay. which is 
loads. So, I mean, that's a game changer for a hotel if they make almost 20% more revenue. Um, and that's typically made up of uh, higher occupancy and higher ADR, so higher average daily rate. And in this subset, it was like t between 10 and 15% higher occupancy and then between five and something percent higher, higher rate. Because what typically happens is if you do revenue management, you will, set, you will find 50 days in the year where you can charge a lot more. And that allows you to charge uh, a little bit less on 200 days of the year. You end up higher occupancy because you now get bookings that you didn't get before. And you also end up with a higher uh, average daily rate because you sell those peak days for a much nicer price. Okay, okay let's go to Australia. So yep. what, what's your plan here? Um, so we entered the market two and a half years ago. Okay, how is it going, like yes or no? Uh, it's going great. Um, we're hiring more, so we're soon going to have over 10 people in the market. Um, Basically, what, who, are, who are your clients here in Australia? All, all kinds of clients. So we work with hotels, boutique hotels, uh, smaller hotel chains. We work with uh, holiday parks. Uh, so across the across the board. But they do have to be. They, do they have to have presence in Booking.com or anywhere else? They for, all will. Huh? They, they all do. But that's not our side of the business. Oh. So okay. they just need to have a PMS. And a but if they just have a normal website, <laughs> no, you can't. You can't monetize them. We can. We can. Uh -huh. But then. This, there, there are two different things. I mean, there's revenue management, so getting the right price in, so that out of the demand that you get, you convert most of them to a good price. But then there's the marketing side as well, and that's where Booking.com and all the other channels come in. You need to be seen. Yeah. So people need to see you so yeah. they, can, they can book you. Okay, great. So what is the plan to, to increase the revenue here? So you said 15%, right? Is it split between Australia and New Zealand or just Australia? Yeah, Australia and New Zealand. Australia yeah. And you want to grow? Australia is growing in terms of tourism because there's a lot of, you yeah. know, like, a, but some of them are campsites. Also uh, attractive, also interesting for revenue management. So what is the, what do you want to increase by? From uh, 15 to how many percent you want to I mean, as long as I'm fine with the percentage staying the uh -huh. same. If uh -huh. the company grows 100% a year, if the market here grows 100%, that's great. Okay. Uh, so I think we're targeting around 70 80% growth a year, yeah. and that's also the growth that we expect in that market here. Okay, so is this the only business that you have? Do you, are you going to pivot to something else? No, only business. So full focus on this space because okay. there is enough work to do. Okay, tell me about the, the name of the brand, Who Price Genie. What, how did that come about? Um, Ari's wife thought that would be a cool name. Yeah. And that was 2017 and we've stuck with the name ever since. Oh. It's pretty good. People remember it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess. Can you tell me your name? Uh, Marvin. Uh, last name is S-P-E-H. And the company is Room Price Genie, like you said. Uh, and your co-founder? Co-founder is Ari. Uh -huh. uh, his last name is Andri Kopoulos. It's a little bit difficult. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll just give it to you. And by the way, are you planning to go uh, listed? Or you're private right now? Uh, private right now. Uh, listed, that's going to take a while. So yeah. for that, we need to... Um, 20-fold the business, and that's going to take us a few years. All right, cool. Thank you.